Hi guys, Mr. Ruffles here. Yeah, it's me. Uh, hi. How's it going? I haven't posted for what feels like about two weeks. I'm not sure if it's actually been that long, but I've moved house. So the sound in this video might seem a little bit echoey. We're just going to live with that for now. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't show you the room because it's... Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, and this is going to be a bit of a janky video, but I wanted to post something. I'm literally just balancing this on my mattress right now. I wanted to post something because I haven't posted in so long, and I wanted to give you a little update as to what's going on with me as well. To make a long story short, I have a couple of exams coming up that are my last university exams ever, okay? After that, I got nothing. So I've got four of them. First one is on the 23rd of this month. The last one is on September 4th. I then have an interview basically defending my final research project with an assessor on the 5th. And then I'm going full time. I am free. I'm doing YouTube full time for the first time ever, really. And I'll be done with school. Which is just a weird thought. Because I've been in school since I was five years old, <laughs> and I'm 20-something now, I forget how old I am, and I'm nearly done, so it's really exciting, but that's not the topic of today's video. I can talk about my life, I can talk about university, I can talk about giving you guys advice for going into school, or not going into school, or whatever it is, in other videos, let me know if you'd like to see that kind of content, but for now, we're going to be talking about something completely different, okay? I normally would do a video like this with my laptop in front of me, but uh, unfortunately both of my laptops, my original YouTube laptop and the new laptop that I bought for YouTube in like 2016, both of them broke. Dell are refusing to replace the original one despite the fact that I think that it was their fault that the laptop died, so that sucks. And the other one is 10 years old, so I'm not surprised it died. But it means that I have to use my phone to look at what I'm going to be reading out to you guys and basically exploring in today's video, okay? There is a new preview out for the first issue of the second season of the Call of Duty Zombies comic, which I kind of forgot was even coming out. And I'm pretty sure it releases in September. So it's really near now, and it means that as soon as I go full-time, one of the first things that I'll be covering alongside the Blackout beta, I'll be streaming a hell of a lot of that, and bear in mind, because I'll be going full-time, I'll actually be able to stream daily, and things along those lines, okay? So there's a lot of content on the horizon. Black Ops 4 is going to be on a level that you guys have never seen from me before, okay? It's going to be crazy. But the comment's going to be coming out as well. Today, we're going to read through the preview... Let's see what we can find, okay? It's a new story now, obviously. It's the Chaos story, and no one really knows what direction they're going to take it in. We know a little bit about it so far. For example, we know that Scarlet, one of the new characters, there's Scarlet, Bruno, Diego, and Shaw. Scarlet's dad is kind of the link that ties the four characters together, and I believe Scarlet's dad goes missing and something happens to him, and the four of them kind of band together in an attempt to try and either save him or find him, something along those lines, okay? So that's sort of the only starting premise that we've actually been given until now, okay? We know that the French Foreign Legion in Morocco around the sort of year 1910, 1912, that sort of thing, has one of their sort of lieutenants, I suppose, and his name is Bruno, and he's the one that's actually on the cover of issue number one. And so we'd expect him to be in this story, we're going to get reading. We'd also expect Scarlet's father to be in this issue because he's on the cover as well, in the background with the staff that was confirmed by Jason. So, it starts off, and I actually really like the art style here. Actually, you know what? Let me shift to the side so that we can actually get a little bit of dual screen action going on. My Elgato green screen is over there, so it'll have to wait and I'll just do this for this video, okay? So, Constantinople, Turkey. September 1910. The sun is fairly low in the sky, and you've got two cars here, one sort of smaller and one truck in the background, going through the mountains. We don't have time for this. Lebeau and the buyer are waiting. And it looks like this might be translated, so I don't think these guys are English, or at least I'm assuming that's what the angle brackets mean on the text here. 
a trap. They see this car, green, in the middle of the road, blocking their way. They pull up. Can you get us around it? Us, maybe, but the truck won't be able to follow. Unless you want the package rolling down the hill. Sheep. And he gets out of the car. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, sorry. I, I seem to be having some trouble. He's got a wrench in his hand. And it looks like that he's trying to fix his car, but not having a very good time of it. Just an old man. Tell them I'm going to take care of it. So he's telling the guys in the truck. Trouble. Keep on guard. And there's a couple in the back of the truck here. I don't like this. At all. They're all armed, so something fishy's going on. And they've got some kind of package in there that's going to be bought. I'm afraid it picked the worst possible location to fail, and I myself was never mechanically inclined. I still prefer horses, but perhaps we can get this started. He's hiding his gun, so the old man isn't going to have seen that just yet. But I suspect that both of them have some secrets here. I don't like this. Yes, you said. We're supposed to stay back here. Yeah, and I'm not stopping you, but... If we do not deliver the package, LeBeau will have our hides. I think perhaps you have other things to worry about. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> da, da, da. It's a trap. Stop him. He's got the package there and wow, that looks awfully like a coffin. That's interesting. I guess we're starting then. Oh, and he's actually taken his little... Uh, wrench, it looks like, and whacked the guy over the head here, slammed his car door on him or something. Whomp! Mr. Dillon, did you- <laughs> Why is that the sound I made for a punch? <laughs> oh dear. Smack. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies for this, but needs must. Oh, and he leans out the window with a gun, he's like- You know when a dog is kind of sitting there and it's Kind of trying to smile, and it just goes, <laughs> That's what this guy's doing right now. <laughs> I am far, far too old for this. Although, perhaps there is no right age for this. He's zooming around the car there, gunshots firing everywhere into the ground, though. You're not taking the package. All you're getting is bullets. Enough of that! And he rolls the heckin' car... My guy tosses his gun in the air because look at <laughs> look at his face. He's like, oh no 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 no. <laughs> okay, so that hap. Oh, not only does that happen, but that goes all the way down the hill, bruh. That is an extreme act. My guy got a bit angry, bit of road rage. Crunch, 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 crunch. Out it goes. Oh, but it looks like his buddy has secured the package. Our little blonde fella over here has managed to grab it out before the car went rolling down the hill so they've saved themselves some hassle there ah interesting okay so his name's simone hello simone i'm still trying to figure out what this guy's accent is i'm assuming it's bruno it looks like bruno and we know that he's french i mean actually in the next frame he says merci so i'm gonna try and do a french accent i guess and it's gonna go terribly wrong so feel free to Make fun of me for it, because I'm going to be butchering the French accent. Hello. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what, do, what? I mean, I've got I've got French family. I've been to France maybe 20 times. Probably not actually that many, but 10, 15 times. And I can't think for the life of me right now, while the camera's on, what a French accent actually sounds like. Hello, Simon. <laughs> I would suggest that perhaps we do this the easy way. <laughs> oh, crikey, it's so bad. And then he just takes the box from his buddy Simone and he says, Merci. He gets in the car with the old man, who is Scarlet's father, but we don't know that in the story just yet, okay? I certainly hope that whatever it is we stole from them is worth the effort, Alistair. Because I believe my former associates are coming. I'm, I feel like I'm getting like a little bit of like Trevor Noah French in here, but not like French French. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm just, I'm just not very good. 
How many would you say? At a guess, I would say, mm, all of them. And there are indeed, all of a sudden, loads of trucks and a bike chasing after them with this coffin looking thing. And b -b 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 bang, lots of gunshots coming from that motorbike. He is smart, this one. He is shooting to disable the car, not to kill us. Yes, well, it's working. I don't suppose you can do anything about him, could you? Oui. So my boy gets his leg up in the air. <laughs> looks so funny on camera. <laughs> oh dear. He gets his leg in the air and he says, oh, we must... <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I forgot how fun it was making YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, okay. Sticks his leg in the air. Has a little, a little kick. Flicks his heels up. And the bike goes flying. And is that the end? Oh, lo, 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 lo. It will not do. <laughs> Man. Well. That is so much less than I thought it was going to be. But I guess it is actually the first one, two, three, four, five pages. And it's only going to be 24, 25 pages long. So it would be a bit silly if the preview was any longer than that. But the good news is that if you want... The full reading of this, you know whose channel to come back to when it comes out in September. I'll be doing a full live reading with all these silly voices. <laughs> and it'll, it'll be a good time, man. We'll have legs flying. We'll, we'll have French people flipping trucks. It, it, it'll be fun, okay? So... <laughs> what have I done? I've missed a rough waffles. That is honestly the worst French accent I've ever ever done in my life. Normally it's not this bad, but <laughs> I just, I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> so, oh man, I've been Mr. Off Waffles. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm going to get back to studying now. I've been in the library all day for the last couple of weeks, and I'm going to get right back to it. I'll have a video talking about ZWC in the next few days, by the way, as well, just as a kind of recap, tell you the kind of true story of what happened with ZWC and the behind the scenes, all that stuff. And I'm hoping that as soon as my Zams wrap up, you guys will be there in full force to support the crazy bidness that I have coming on my channel for Black Ops 4. Because honestly, I'm saying this now, and I can't stress enough how sincere I am when I say I'm going to blow your minds during Black Ops 4 with the sheer level of quality and the quantity of content that I'm going to be putting out. I'm excited. I think you can tell. I've been Mr. Awful. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Drop a like if you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.